Okay, this is going to be a little more fun with fans. This one here is a squirrel cage blower. We use these things in furnaces, air handlers. Uh, this type of blower, I'll kind of take it apart after a bit and probably another video. Uh, and we'll look at what makes them go. But this one here is about amperage draw and power usage. And we're going to talk about and demonstrate how these things work and what makes the amp draw what it is. The amp draw, voltage stays the same, amp draw goes up, that means the power goes up, the power usage goes up. So, uh, let's get with it. Okay, we're set up. I want you to notice that I have uh, an amp gauge here. And we're going to check the amp draw when this thing fires up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start this fan. Okay, and off it goes. I want you to concentrate on the amp gauge, and I'm going to bring it in a little closer. Notice my amp gauge is showing 16.8 amps. Okay, this is important because this fan motor is rated for 9.1. So it's drawing pretty close to twice the amp draw. This is important. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to drop that amp drop. Okay, now I'm going to put this Beckett book, good use for the Beckett book, right in front of it. Now, it speeded up some, but I did that. Okay, now I want you to look at this amp meter. Amp meter. I'm going to do the same thing. down to 4.5 amps. Now this is what I've done is I've covered the outlet. See, we're still drawing 15.9 amps on this thing. And you can hear the motor load. Okay. See so if you can guess why the amp draw was down when I covered up the dish show. Next video, we're going to talk about it.